also want to get to practical matters for people, you know, in terms of their, their own preparedness. Because I, I do want to ask you about food, but do you, do you, want, to, do you want to add more signposts or do you want to jump over to the food topic? Uh, give, me, give me a minute on the food. Okay. All right, yeah. So, we, so here, here's what happened, okay? So we had several prophecies that said that God is going to provide bread. Specifically, he said the word bread. Uh, bread for his people in the last days. And according to several prophecies, the dollar is about to die. It's about to lose 30% of its value overnight, literally several of them. It's like literally overnight or over the weekend. And that there's about to be food shortages. I mean, I've got like 14 different dreams or visions from people. You know, Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. So we got 14 different people all in the last six months, all getting dreams and visions about food shortages. It's time to set up and pay attention. So about six months ago, a long story short, some guy sent me a video of the lady talking to church about the benefits of bread. I thought, all right, fine, I'll try it out. So I ordered a little wheat grinder and I started grinding my own wheat berries. I don't call them seeds, they call them wheat berries into flour and making my own bread. Well, I'm shocked to discover that I'm 68 years old and had never tasted real homemade whole wheat bread. <laughs> it's a world of difference, is it? Yes. It's very, yeah, well, it's also very good for you. Like, for example, I play racquetball two or three times a week. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be playing racquetball here in the next hour today. And I, when I was running out to play racquetball one day, I grabbed one of these slices of bread. I ate it on the way. Man, I ran like the wind. I mean, here's an old man that's keeping up with the young guys. And even though they turn to me and says, man, you've been running like the wind today. Where'd you get all this energy? Well, it was from bread. Bread is chock full of actual energy. Now, here's the thing. What we discovered about 12 weeks ago, we started a new company, a for-profit company called Joseph's Kitchen. I think God had to start it primarily as a way to provide food for his Christian believers in the last days. So what Joseph's Kitchen is about is showing people how to take wheat berries, grind them into flour, 30 seconds it takes, push it about 30 seconds put it into a bread maker, push a button, two hours, 20 minutes later, you have a nice, hot, steaming, wonderful tasting, very nutritious loaf of whole wheat bread. And here's the problem. Most of the people selling freeze-dried food, and I'm not trying to knock them, or uh, long-term storage foods, emergency food, all of that is about $10,000 to feed one person for one year. Did you get that? Ten, that nine or $10,000, one person, one year. At Joseph's Kitchen, we can show you how to do it for about $1,000 for one person for one year, about $1,000 a person a year. You remember in the days of Pharaoh and Joseph, there was seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. Well, perhaps on another program I can explain, but we believe the prophecies say that the famine started September the 6th of 2021. We are now in seven years of famine. Well, what was it that fed Joseph and the Pharaoh and the other people during the seven years of famine. It wasn't corn, it wasn't rice, it wasn't beans. It was wheat. So that's what we started buying. We have a warehouse full of truckloads of wheat that we are shipping out. Massive, massive response to this. By the bucket, right? In, in, the, in the pails, the, the storable pails. I'll explain that. Okay, yeah. so here's the problem. First of all, if you just order wheat, not all wheat is meant to make bread out of it. Some of us make tortillas or uh, uh, pizzas where it doesn't rise. If you don't get the right wheat, it doesn't make bread. So we have the right wheat. And what we do is show you how to take the berries and turn it into wheat. But when they ship it out to you, they normally send it in just a plain brown paper bag with some printing on it. But I got one that was ripped up in the box, ripping open. <laughs> yeah, Mice and rats can get into it or moisture. So what we do is put it into a seven gallon, very thick, hard plastic pail. But then we nitrogen pack it with a thousand pounds pressure to blow out the oxygen. So if it does have any bugs, they're probably dead. Put a lid on it and then we ship that out. Now, what you do is you go to josephskitchen.com. I'll say it again, josephskitchen.com. You have to get a machines package because that's the mechanical part you'll need to make wheat you need a grinder and you need a bread machine right so yeah so the 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 mill 
You put the wheat in the meal, push a button, 30 seconds later, you have wheat. You put that into the bread machine, along with six other ingredients, uh, yeast and oil and honey and things like that. Push a button, two hours, 20 minutes later, you have a nice hot steaming loaf of whole wheat bread. Now you have to have the machines package. That's like $550. Then you decide how much food you want. You want food for six people for one year, four people one year, two people one year, one person one year. You click on that and you order how much food you want. And then the food comes. So the wheat berries in that pail, we estimate should last at least 25 years. Some people, I mean, they pulled it out of the pyramids and 3000 years old and still grew. So as long as it's still in a wheat berry, it doesn't need refrigeration. So it'll keep. Now, some of the other things like olive oil, honey, they don't keep as long. So some of it, and we, we said as best we can. So anyway, you order that. And like, for example, if you order a six for one, that's less than $1,000 a person. A two for one is about, about $1,000 a person for a year. You take one three pound loaf, cut it into 14 slices. And I discovered, discovered that a slice in the morning, a slice in the afternoon, and I'm satisfied. I can eat three slices, but I don't have to. But if I eat four slices, then it gives me so much energy. I find it difficult to go to sleep before 1230. <laughs> well, l let me just add for people listening that when you and I are talking about this bread, and I do this too, I, I, I've done this for, for a couple of decades, and the bread that we are talking about is dense, it's, it's, it's heavy, but it's also delicious, by the way. I find it really delicious. But the, the bread you get at the store is just fluffed air for the most part. Right. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's the difference between eating a real egg versus meringue. If you can try to imagine living off a of meringue. In other words, <laughs> yeah, good point. Right. That's what you're doing. You're trying to live off of the white of the wheat. <laughs> yeah. So the very best part of the wheat, the germ and the, end, and the, uh, the, the, the outside, that's thrown away or actually fed to pigs. So the yeah. pigs get the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you're right. And, and you can put all kinds of nuts or, or seeds or, like you said, honey. Uh, I've known, I've, I've used palm sugar in some of the recipes before because that's really good. And you're right. So if, if people go out and buy wheat flour, that flour may only be good for six months. But if you buy wheat berries, because the berries are intact and they are designed to hold a long time, that's the way God designed wheat berries to last years. Uh, that, that can last, like you said, 10, 20 years is not unreasonable at all. You just got to keep it in a relatively cool place. I mean, don't, don't make it hot, you know, <laughs> don't put it in your attic. Yeah, exactly. All right. So that's great. So that's Joseph's kitchen. And, and that's, that's your company, and it's relatively new. Well, actually, uh, my daughter owns Joseph's Kitchen. Oh, okay, okay. I say she is doing a much better job at it than I could because I'm doing, probably, you know, I'm the prophecy guy, so I do prophecy. She yeah. does Joseph's Kitchen. But I will say this, that the orders are absolutely going through the roof. We've had to hire nine people in the last 12. It's only been going 12 weeks. <laughs> oh, my. We've had to hire nine people. We've got truckloads of wheat. I mean, we have a truckload of wheat arriving every few days. Yeah. It's a truckload. Okay. There's 50 bags to a pallet, 17 pallets to a truckload, 840 bags. By the way, we don't even order it in bags anymore. Now they bring it to us in totes. Totes. Yeah. I know what those are. We do that. Now we have these giant crates that we send, send out to the farmers. We got two, two fans, uh, farmers out in Kansas. Yeah, from Kansas is supplying it to us. Yeah, send it back in twenty five hundred pound crates of wheat at a time, and then we pour that into the the buckets. 